Alright everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem. Uh, we're about to finish off this game here, or this map as it were. I'm going to stand here and equip my hand axe, not only because I'll get better coverage in the woods, but also there's an archer looming, which means that, uh, well, I would like to be at more of an advantage when the archer maybe attacks me. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case right here, because I missed my hand axe, so joy. Um, and that is, ugh. You know what? I'm going to leave Ellie with there. Let him come to me as opposed to... No, I don't want to quit. I hate it. Keeps doing that. Ah, being haphazard, I guess. As, it's just much. as you can see, this guy's going to do no damage to Oswin. He's just... He's too good. Too good. Uh, he's definitely going to be much more useful to us than Wallace is. Seeing as Wallace is now a promoted unit that's not going to really bode too well because he doesn't have as much room for growth as Oswin does. Oswin can obviously go up to the full level 20 as opposed to Wallace who promoted early because the game forced us to promote him early. But uh, well that's just a matter that we have to deal with. Um, I guess I should probably give Eliwood an iron sword at some point because this rapier is going to break very quickly otherwise and they're all targeting Eliwood which is no surprise because if Eliwood dies then it's game over. Um, so, well, that's what happens, and you know, nothing you can really do to prevent it, but whatever. Uh, let's bring Hector down here, get him closer and closer to the action. 10, 8, and 19. So let's just take this guy on. Steel axe right through the skull, doesn't even kill it. Ugh, it's frustrating that is. Uh, an iron sword will take this guy out, a javelin won't take that guy out. Ugh, but I'm gonna go with the iron sword here on this dude and finish him. Because uh, he will cause a lot of trouble otherwise. Don't want trouble. Trouble is the last thing that we are wanting cause for. So uh, I'll bring you over here because that's an advantage there. And uh, yes, uh, well, anything. Can... Iron Axe has the most highest accuracy, I think, with 79. So we shall finish you off with said Iron Axe. But uh, what level is he now? Three? Maybe? Two? What level did he start? Level three. Okay. That's good, he's got some nice growths going on there. Um, pleased, I guess. Pleased as one can be. And uh, let's bring you... Ooh, 9 times 2 so we're actually not going to be able to kill the archer, for fuck's sake. But we can use the rapier on the archer, and then after that, use Rebecca to finish it off. So. Yay for arching. Woohoo! Alrighty, she's getting some nice experience here. Uh, this guy is still going to have trouble getting down the mountains. He's going to get an extra turn or so before he gets here. So we'll just move Oswin down. And now we will end the turn and see what he wants to do. He's going to come down. And now he is within our range for for defeating. Um, but we don't really have anyone with whom we can defeat him very easily. He's level 9, which is pretty freaking high for this point in the game. Um, just looking at it. I mean, if I try and attack him right now, he has the chance to do 60 damage and just kill me straight up. But he only has a 36% chance to do that, which means it's probably best to stay back here. Um, use a Vulnery. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Marcus as a battering ram as of sorts here. Um, I'm just going to leave him without any weapons, but I'm going to put him up front wait there and see if uh, yes the only person he can attack now is Marcus which means that uh, I give my other units a bit of free reign I can get Hector to move in a bit on him uh, or move down here and then be able to go in for the kill after that but now Marcus is kind of just standing there as bait so that he goes and straight up attacks him gives me more time to prepare my other units I guess um, and see what he's kind of thinking of. Let's see how much Rebecca would do from an advantageous position. Six damage to him is not too bad, but it's not great when he has 32 HP, of course. Um, Steel Axe will... Wow! Bart is going to get fucking destroyed by him, so I do not want to go into that situation. But if I go here with the Hand Axe, it's only a 60% chance to get him, so Hector's probably going to be my main way of dealing with him. Let's end the turn and see what he does. Alright, so he does attack Marcus. Yes, 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 let me show you. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck, he did... Wow, 12 damage. That's... Even against Marcus, that's... Wow, that's a lot. It's, it's a heavy, heavy hit that uh, I don't really want to take. So, we're going to go here with Hector's 12 damage, which is... Ugh, it's annoying. 
because, well, this guy's going to be difficult for me to take out, honestly, in all honesty, and I can't really find a way to get this guy. You know what, I can go around here, and no, yes, I can. I can. If I close, if I close him in, the problem is how can I close him in without causing any problem? Uh, see, he has a 21% chance to hit Lowen, so that's okay because he's basically not really got a chance to hit me at all. <sighs> Though you don't want to rely on those odds, and this is just a particularly frustrating scenario to be in right now. Um, I guess Elliewood can come over here. Oh, Eliquid can talk to Hector. Yeah, I'll probably do that conversation in a bit. Probably a good idea to do that. Let's go talk to Hector and just break up the atmosphere a bit here. Eliwood, are you alright? Hector, what are you? Later. First, let's take care of these louts. Right. Okay, so that was a short-lived conversation. Ugh, this is still screwing with my noggin right here, trying to think what is the best way to take this guy down. I could use Marcus's weapons. I should have probably given Marcus a weapon to weaken him with and then gone in for the kill with any of my other units. And Rebecca, I don't want to die, obviously, for obvious reasons, but um, may have to happen. I don't know. Uh, this is just going to be... I don't want Hector to die because then Hector's dead and I have to start all over again. Ugh. It's just a horrible situation in general. So how about we run away scared for a bit and see... What his range of movement is like after that. Okay. Let's just go back here, regroup a second, and see if I can't. You know what? He's going to target Elliewood. No, he can't reach Elliewood. Okay. Pretty sure. Yep, he can't reach Elliewood. Okay, so let's just leave this turn. Let him attack this guy again, and now give us a bit more room, and maybe, maybe allow us to, uh, I don't know do something else. I just want to get rid of this sword guy because he's going to be in the way as well. I just want to basically fully concentrate on Mr. Boss Man without having to worry about his little minion fuck on the side. Alright. Let's see here. Elliewood, let's see how much damage Elliewood can do to this guy. Eight, yes. I already checked that out, didn't I? There's a 36% chance. Now if I go down to here, he'll have an even less chance and then I can have Marcus rescue him if possible. So that's always an option. He also has access to Rebecca though, so I don't want that. Let's get her hidden away. Also has access to Hector. Let's get Hector down here. Now he can own... Oh, he has access to Lowen as well. Great. Let's bring Lowen up here. And now he can't attack anyone apart from Marcus or Elliewood. So let's bring Elliewood down here. He can wait, and hopefully this will work out in my favour, because I am on advantageous ground. He has basically no chance of hitting me, and I can just rapier him. Okay, that's looking good, because it means I can get an extra hit in, and then follow up with uh, with Hector, because Hector can do some nice damage, and then just kind of go all out on him until he dies at this point. Now, I want Lowen to finish this stupid ass hat off. Oh, you know what? Lion can come and javelin to help out with that, but he's not going to hit is the problem. He's going to do 10 damage to that guy. Okay, this has just worked out a lot more difficult to deal with than I initially thought, which uh, I guess makes sense because it would be, but um, he has a... Uh, he's going to do 13 damage to me there, but I can deal with it, I guess. I don't know. Rebecca, let's see what you can do. Six damage? It's a solid six damage, and I feel like I can kill this guy by the end of the turn, so I shouldn't be too worried. I hope, anyway. God. God please be able to kill this guy. Alright, let's hand axe. Maybe get ten damage off, maybe not, but that's what it's going to be. I do get ten damage. Awesome. Okay, so I think uh, Elliewood can finish him off now. With eight damage. Yes, 100% accuracy. Yes, go, me, win. Finish him. Oh, whew. that was very difficult to deal with, um, but uh, shows you have to really think about these situations if you don't want to lose anyone in this game. It's, it can be very problematic, so let's now send Lowen down here and attack this guy with the, I guess just go for the javelin because he can't actually do anything against me. Um, 
and he doesn't seem to be a threat to anyone else, so we'll just straight up kill him, finish off the game, and uh, finish, off, finish off the map, as it were. Uh, I cannot attack him with Hector, I can block him off with uh, Marcus, so he's forced to attack either Marcus or um, um, Loud, and then I can use Rebecca, come down here, get her a bit more experience, and 8 damage, perfect! Beautiful, in fact. That was very well executed, and she goes up a level as well. So, all in all, um, uh, a very good way to finish off the map. And look at those stat growths. Tell you, man, she is definitely one to keep a hold of, because very good character in the end. Phew, is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Well met, Elliot. Yes, but what are you doing here? You wound me! How do you mean? You're looking for your father, right? Why didn't you send word? Your brother was just named Marques Ostia. He's going to be very busy setting up his court council. Lord Uther must need your support. You are his brother, after all. My brother is not so weak. Oh, he has mentioned some things in public, but he knew exactly what I was planning, and he let me go. Is that so? Well then, it would be unwise to refuse his kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Thank you. Think nothing of it. You know Oswin, don't you? Well met, Lord Dollywood. It is good to see you again, Oswin. So you came as well? Yes. Lord Uther was worried about Lord Hector travelling alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. Haha, <laughs> of course. Good to have you with us. L Lord Hector, why didn't you tell me the fighting was done? I apologise for the uh, interruption. I, I couldn't restrain her any longer. Are these your companions, Hector? Oh, yes, I suppose they are. Oh, one might have hoped for better, but... That was uncalled for. I can't believe you said that. Matthew, did you hear what he said about you? Me? He was talking about you! Hector, why don't you introduce us? The noisy one is Sarah. Believe it or not, she's a cleric. Yes, I'm Sarah, my lord. Pleased to meet you. And that is Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. Why did he suddenly become I Fuck my life. <laughs> my lord. Sneaking around? Well, I uh, gather information, open doors, chests and such. I've got uh, nimble fingers. That sounds like a thief's work. Well, don't let it worry you. But this journey, I suspect it will be harder than you imagine. You may have to accept things like this if you want to survive. What is it, Hector? Do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumours abound, though. A league of assassins from Bern has been moving around in Lycia. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. That reminds me. One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What was it? Lord Elliwood. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Lord Elliwood, if I'm I? Fucking hell! Marcus, good to see you! Lord Hector, it's been far too long. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Come now, Marcus, no need for such formalities. Tell me what you heard. Of course, the apparent leader of the Gang of Thugs, he indicated that uh, someone was watching Lord Elliwood. That someone needed him dead. Hmm, <laughs> that is troubling. Actually, Captain of the Guard was watching the fight when we arrived. He was a knight of the Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. And yet he just stood there and let the Lord be attacked. I think he was planning on seeing you die. Oh dear. So it be that, what do you think? I think it's a terrible idea for me to do multiple accents at once, because my god, my brain. You might be right, something may have happened to Lord Hellman too. Yeah, that's totally what I said to you, bro. Elliot, who is this? This is MBZ. Hi, Hector! I require tactical aid in search of my father, and... Oh, I see. So this is who directed the battle plan here, then. Hmm. You know, MBZ, you're very young. We've many strategists in Ostia, but none so young. Elliot, are you sure about this one? NBZ is still a student of military strategy, but we've received nothing but sound advice so far. NBZ has my truck. Well, you better know that I'm good after I got you out of that sticky situation in that map. My god. Alright, something or other fucking fuck fuck. Well met, NBZ. Great. Hello, NBZ. How have you been, NB? How l I can't speak English. I'm sorry, I'm American. Jesus fuck. Ah, my secret's revealed. Oh, that. Yes, it's true. My guise as a common thief was but a ruse. I served House Ostia for some time as a spy of sorts. Surprised? Well, regardless, it looks like we'll be traveling together again. Here's our to our mutual survival. Here indeed. Eee! 
Amy said, is that really you? It's been far, far too long. You missed me, didn't you? Of course you did, I knew it, great. Hm, didn't I tell you before? I'm in the employee of Ostia. This is ruling territory, you know. I'll be here to help you just like before. Aren't you lucky? Yes, so lucky. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes chapter 12. Uh, yes, I think that was a good idea for me to actually cut off the video because it ended up being longer than I expected it to. Well over half an hour to do that chapter. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, next time, chapter 13. My God, unlucky for some, but uh, hopefully not for us. I'll see you guys then.